Yeah. Um, I'd like to put my first question to uh, the Director General, if I could. Um, you might be aware of media um, back in March that reported a false killer whale um, had been captured and taken to SeaWorld for rehabilitation after beaching itself. So this is, this is not an orca, it's a different um, member of the dolphin family. Last week, SeaWorld posted on its page that the animal had died. Um, can you advise whether Village Road Show theme parks had applied for a licence to exhibit this false killer whale under the Exhibited Animals Act? And does the department have any information on the cause of the animal's death? Okay. Um, Chair, just a point of clarity. I just um, um, we th this may be a matter that fell within the exhibited animals uh, part of the legislation, which we dealt with in the early part of proceedings today. Rather than uh, right, I, I know in some cases there's confusion between uh, fisheries and, and exhibited animals, but uh, certainly it'd be my view. And I'll be happy to hear uh, your point in yeah, respect to no, that. I, th I think that's a relevant point. It may come under the Animal Care and Management Acts. But uh, could the Director General furnish any information that, the, that he may have on this particular I, matter? Thanks, Chair. Thanks, Minister. I'll just reiterate what the Minister said. It's dealt with under the biosecurity provisions and legislation. Is there, is, there any, is there any practical, like, yeah, we're, we're talking about, surely they're mammals, but they're ocean-dwelling mammals. Is there any practical obstacle to the question being answered in this forum? Through, through you, Chair, once again, there's a process where the member for Maywa can avail himself. Uh, there's no other committee hearings on today other than this. Mm -hmm. uh, the member for Maywa could have been in appearance for the, the, the other part of the hearing that dealt with exhibited animals. Minister, uh, I was here and I took every opportunity that was available to, me yeah. to ask questions. So if, if the inclination is to stand behind, hide behind standing orders, by all means, I will, I will ask an alternative Member, question if I Member, could. Though. Please don't say, um, engage in argument across the table there. Um, I think you've got the answer f that you're going to get for the stage here because it clearly came under the, uh, under the um, auspice of the first part of the questions. Did you have any other further questions, Member for Maywell? Yes, I have, Chair. Thank you. Um, I'll put this question to the Minister in relation to um, Queensland's shark control program. You'd be aware of lots of work in this space at the moment. There was the recent Cardno report reviewing non-lethal approaches to shark nets and drum lines, uh, a Senate inquiry recommending a transition to non-lethal methods. Um, now, we've seen the entanglement of at least five whales in nets this year, yet you've confirmed that the government has no plans to remove any shark nets or drum lines, as I understand it. Um, Minister, who made the decision not to remove shark control nets ahead of humpback whale migration season and on what basis, given that this contradicts the recommendations of the department's own uh, shark control program scientific working group? I'm happy to respond broadly in regards to the question. Um, and that there is work being done and, and I, I apologise that the member wasn't present when we answered a response to the good work that's being done in respect to surveillance and drone technology, uh, that more, more than $6 million put into further enhancement of further four beaches in regards to using drone technology, uh, the consideration of looking at, at, uh, at, at zones to, to, to also provide for uh, coverage in regards to um, measures of, of assisting you know, people to safely bathe or, or do water activities uh, in those areas. But we need to work with, with those councils around barriers and those sorts of things. I'm mindful that time is very short on relevance, the question. I, I did hear the answers before around remote, uh, you know, drone monitoring. The question specifically is who made the decision not to remove the shark nets ahead of humpback whale migration season and on what basis, given that this is contradicted um, by the government's own shark control scientific working group? Um, not sure how you're going to answer that one, Minister. If, um, well, I invite you to continue on with the, the answer you, were, you are providing towards that. The, there's, in my view, there's been no significant changes to the program. The, the program is We've been up front all along since 1962 is the initial uh, policy and position is to protect human life. Um, that is paramount in terms of uh, what we do as a government in terms of making sure um, our, our waters are, are free from shark attacks. Uh, no doubt there's a continued expansion of whales up and down the, 
the coastline as a result of migration. That's why we're looking at drone technology. We're, look, we're expanding the program. We're looking at other alternatives through technology. There's a whole host of technologies out there available. We'll continue investing in those as we have in this budget to look at those technologies that, that are new and exciting to make sure that people are protected, but also marine life is protected as well. And that's why we've got a catch and release program for those areas that we're trialling and a very successful program in catching and releasing uh, those, those three sharks, uh, whether it be bull sharks, uh, uh, white sharks or uh, tiger sharks in those locations where the catch and release uh, uh, lines are in place. Just a very, very quick follow-up, if I might, Chair. Is, can I take from your answer, Minister, is, your assertion is that the risk of shark bite would increase if Queensland's shark nets and drum lines were removed. Is that, is that your assertion? Well, I think you, yeah, there's an implication there. I know that the member from Maywa, you're asking about a, our, our program there, but I didn't hear what the minister was travelling down that way. You're that, in, that's that you're why I'm seeking there. clarification, Chair. Well, I think it's a bit argumentative, but uh, yeah. I don't know how the minister can answer uh, can answer that one there unless the minister wants to answer it. Re re wants to re re-establish that question. We, we should support the shark control program as we have done since 1962. But the question, as I put it, was: Is it your assertion that the risk of shark bite would increase in Queensland if Queensland shark nets and drum lines were removed? Well, Chair, that's a hypothetical, really. Yeah, it's when... absolutely not a hypothetical. It's a question it's... about assertions implicit in your answer. Yeah, I th uh, member, I think that's. Yeah, I think that it's. Uh, member, I understand where you're going, but it's, it, it is hypothetical and argumentative as well. So uh, you're not going to. I'm going to rule that one out. Uh, I'm going to. The minister. I'm going to rule that the minister has answered that to the as the way he can. Okay. I